Hello everyone. We're going to be making these palm crosses for Palm Sunday and Easter. They turn out quite well and they're really easy to make. I've got a yucca leaf leaf with me that's going to need a bit of a trim and I'm also using orchid leaf which I'm sure plenty of people will have orchid leaves in the backyard somewhere and they're a bit more pliable so they they tend to be easier to work with but if you've only got something like yucca you'll need to give it a trim about one centimeter thickness Just give it a trim all the way up, just a pair of scissors. Trim the top a little. And there's a really hard fibrous bit down the bottom here. You want to get rid of that. So trim it there. I like to put a little V Cut a little V into the end. Just to make it easier to thread through later on. And a little bit up the top. Get rid of these. So there's our ends, just a little bit pointy. And that's about just a little over a foot, which which will still give us a, a, a reasonably sized one. Okay, we start about two thirds of the way up, a bit more than halfway up, and fold over to one side like that. Press it down to make a fold. Then bring the bottom up and fold. Then we're going to turn the whole work like that and bring the bottom up again and make a, a little seam there, like that. Then this arm over, and we'll see that's made a sort of a little box. I'm going to thread this arm into that box So that it comes out the other side. Thread it through all the way so you're left like that with a box in the middle that stands alone, doesn't come undone. Then you'll see you've created a a loop at the back and that's where you take this arm thread it into that loop that little loop at the back like that I oh, see this is a bit small and then you turn that one around put it back into that loop and you've created the arms of the cross Then with the long piece that's left, we bring it up into that loop. That's going to make the top. And then back up. And 
there you have a cross like that now that's with the, using the yucca which is quite coarse quite thick still works but I'll do one now using the orchid leaf and we'll make it a little bit longer so once again just trim it a wee bit make a V bottom actually this gets a bit thick there so what I'll do is I'll splice it in half and it'd be good if that was a, a little thinner it seems to get wider in the middle so if we trim that a bit just so that it's almost the same width all the way up. Okay, that looks about right. And this one's quite a bit longer. This is more around 40 inches. Oh, sorry, 40 centimetres. Okay. So I can't get the whole thing in the shot, unfortunately. But once again, start just a little bit above halfway. Two thirds of the way up. And fold across like that. Then the bottom. Then we flip it that way and repeat bringing the bottom up to the top. Then this arm across And now we get this tip at the end of this arm. You can see in that box where you have to thread it through. If I sort of squeeze it a bit, you'll see it goes into that gap there. And that creates our little box. It doesn't unravel when we let it go. Okay. Then that loop that we've made at the back. See, there's nowhere to go in the front. You have to go in the back bit here. Goes through to make the first arm of the cross. And then through again to make the other arm. Okay. Then the long end goes up through. Make the top. And then back in, no, back in that way. Keeps it nice and neat then because that little bit tucks in up the top and you don't get any scraggly bits sticking out. And there's a slightly bigger one than before. And that's it. Easy to make. You can have them on the table on Sunday, Palm Sunday, to get blessed. And then I like to pop them around the house uh, in my glasses case, in my handbag. And every time I find one, I say a little prayer for someone. And we can all use a bit extra prayer nowadays. 
enjoy it thank you bye